Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru. In today's video, we will understand about a flow divider, which is a very important uh, uh, equipment in gas turbine functions. And normally, uh, this flow divider is remain packed and does not warrant any maintenance. So people find it always difficult to understand how it functions. So let us understand uh, what are the components and how it works. Welcome friends to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. Friends, I am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant. And I used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers. We also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends. So if you want to reach us, you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes. Let us continue to watch our today's video. So friends, flow divider is a equipment which here uh, in this simplified sketch it is shown. So liquid fuel comes to turbine uh, and pass through a filter. Then there is a liquid fuel stop wall. Stop wall I think you all know that uh, when turbine trip signal is received this is the first one which stops and then cut off the fuel supply then it goes to a warren pump fuel and uh, there is a relief valve and bypass valve and then it comes to flow divider so as the name suggests this is e equipment where there is only one liquid fuel flow is coming and then there are typically let's say if we talk about uh, frame 6 machine there are 10 numbers of output so you may see some 11 or 12 physical output on your uh, flow divider in field but that may be one spare always so yeah so the flow flow divider is here and it it purpose is to divide fuel in equal quantities so uh, there is a equal uniform combustion in your all 10 combustion chambers and there is a, a minimum fuel spread exhaust spread occurring at those let's go in detail so this is a circular flow divider uh, i uh, researched and tried to get an image of that assembly from one of the manufacturer so this is how it will look like if we open that uh, flow divider and this is one particular assembly that I uh, only one gear assembly that I have uh, taken out. So you can see there are two gears uh, uh, attached to each other and there are two ports also like this is one and another is one which is not seen. So yeah there are two gear mounting slots and there are one input or one output so these four slots will be there and then you can see those two gear are mounted here and there and then the two slots are open so how uh, that works so this is another simple sketch where you can see uh, i have taken these all images from different different places so uh, cut see uh, to those uh, content provider so you, you can see the fuel is going in that way, in that direction it is moving. So how it will be, uh, act, uh, I mean, creating a force on these two impellers. So there is only this motive. So this will rotate like this. And the bottom one will rotate on the opposite side like this. And there is no other third device which is driving the mechanism. So if you imagine, let's say uh, there are uh, 10 numbers of assemblies of this kind. So all these kinds of assembly, there is one uh, outlet, I mean fuel supply like this fuel is coming, uh, which is divided into 10 parts uh, prior to this assembly uh, uh, due to internal uh, passages and there are gears and then there is a top there is no way going out so all it has to go pass from this only 
so here it will be entry sorry here it will be exit from this assembly fuel will come out from this it will try to rotate these two and all these are connected through a sun gear there will be an, uh, the center piece there will be one gear so all those will be connected by so all these assembly will run in a same speed because those are mechanically connected so let us understand again so fuel is coming from this side and it will try to rotate these two gears and then there is a no space on the top there is a blind so there is only space to go out as is in the side so whatever is coming out it will go in this uh, uh, the cavity and from here it will be going to all those tin chambers so you understand the fuel is coming from one side and getting distributed to the other side in a smaller quantity no sorry on a opposite direction and like this there are 10 number of assemblies maybe uh, in this image may be different because uh, maybe different machine or different configuration so you just have to understand that uh, gears are used to uh, operate on a same speed so that there is a same quantity of fuel is pumped out so basically sun and planetary gear system the sun gear will mount here yeah, all the planetary gears which are like this those will be connected to a uh, through a different uh, gears and then all these gears will be driving on the same speed fuel coming in from the uh, the common passage and going out from individual passages to different different fuel chamber and all those are connected so the speed is same so the quantity is same so this is how the uh, circular type flow divider works uh, let us go to the linear one so this is a linear uh, type of fuel flow divider uh, you can see the image which is shown here so this image may contain uh, one two three four five six number of outputs but the internal image which i got to explain is only with two uh, outputs uh, this function will be same we can have a n number of similar blocks to have different multiple numbers of output so the single assembly if you see there is only one uh, the one block which is coming here and in these two blocks what we have saw in the previous slide the similar function the similar function the gears will be mounted here and there will be one fuel supply coming out uh, coming in and this is one going out this is going out and from bottom there will be uh, fuel coming in the port is not visible but it is like this so after this this is first block in that block there will be two gears uh, placed so after this this kind of uh, uh, image uh, you can imagine and from here the fuel is coming and fuel will be passed into this and after that the similar uh, same kind of block will be placed on top of it and again there will be opening of this kind uh, uh, like you have placed this block fuel is coming in from this and going out from this side so these two gears will be operate and now if you want to assemble the next block put it like this block on the top of it and then again you install two similar gears so fuel is coming in from this and going from this side and then you have these two gears for second uh, set of uh, output and then on top of it you can put a box i mean the blind so blind is that that there is a no exit on this point you can see here only the blind is coming this is the blind the, so there is no exit on this side this is dummy there is a blind so what it has to do all the fuel has to exit from this side only this side only and the quantity 
because all these gears are connected with each other so the speed will be same so the quantity which it should go from these outputs should also remain the same so this is how the total purpose of fuel flow divider is being achieved and this is how it functions hope i have uh, uh, clarified the basic understanding and you are now able to imagine that how it functions you can uh, write to me if you have any queries here i will try to answer uh, by whatever means possible thank you for much uh, watching my video thank you